for some reason we're starting bent over at the worst angle ever. But hi, welcome to another episode of the marathon. My name's Mare. <laughs> recognize how I look right now it's because I literally just turned off the camera and decided finished one video why not start another mm -hmm. Thomas is beckoning to me that he wants his hearing aids and we always say yes to that he in the morning usually takes about 20 minutes before he wants them in which is fine I'll just put you down here get them ready for him he had a seizure this morning so he is home from school we'll just see how he recovers he's been doing really well and being able to go to school if he has one in the morning but um, every day is different hearing aid cochlear implant let's go give them to him this is a fun fact so for some of his medicine it tastes terrible, so he gets two hot tamales as a chaser with his water. And when we were in Palm Springs, we found like kilogram bags at Walmart, so we brought two home because it's not as easy to find in Canada. And so, this is my mug of medicine things. This is a mug my girlfriend Shan gave me. This is she and I on a grade 11 trip to Banfield, hugging a tree. Friendship established 1993. Isn't that the most beautiful mug? I'm never using it to drink out of because I want to keep it forever. Anyway, so we were, let me put you up here so you can actually say hi, hello. So we were going through security in Palm Springs and um, <laughs> we had the, hot tamales and they got flagged by security and so they open up my suitcase or thomas's suitcase or whatever and they're just like what is this they were so confused they're like we've never seen a giant bag of tamales before we've only ever seen like them like this it's like yep we, uh, why'd you get pulled over at airport security candy <laughs> they also went over his meds with a fine tooth comb because Obviously, there's like multiple bottles. They're not within the 100 mil. There's a needle, but the tamales were what really stumped them, and I just howled. Also, while they were going through his medicine, for like 20 minutes, um, at one point, the unicorn was like, you need to check your face. Because <laughs> apparently, I had just like mama bear written all over me. Like, don't F with those meds. He needs to take them. They're a life-saving medicine. He's like, they're not gonna take away his meds. Please take that look off your face. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, don't mess with mom. No. You now join me on my floor. It is 11.18 and I feel like it's been five days already. Um, this was my morning. Woke up, no time to work out. I had 10 minutes until Thomas needed to be woken up, so I had a quick shower, washed my hair, woke him up, went downstairs to start his breakfast. He came downstairs, then had a major seizure, <sighs> came out of it, helped him, gave him some meds, put him to bed. He slept for two hours. While he slept, I had my own breakfast, started to do some work. Then the unicorn was on graveyard, so I called him just after eight because I like to talk to him on his way home because it's He's very tired. Um, he gets home, I'm doing some work. Thomas wakes up after two hours, and so I stop working, go downstairs to monitor him, hope that he's gonna eat, give him his hearing aids, try to do some work while also following and monitoring him. Then he tells me he wants to go for a car ride and go to school, so prep him for school. <laughs> then call the school, tell him he's actually on his way, take him to school, wait, drop him off. Then I take a bunch of paperwork to do some super annoying executor errands. One was like, so rude to me. I don't even want to share with you because it's so stupid. And the other one I found out, like, if you've ever been an executor, like, I give you all of my heart and love because it's so, it's all the things. Today I'm laughing because there's just like, I don't have any other response, honestly. Like, it's either, this or like tenfold of anger so we're just gonna 
laugh today because it's so stupid and hilarious. I found out that my mom um, has an investment that is locked in until October and I can't touch it. My battery died, so I don't know where it caught off. It cut me off, but she has um, a an investment that can't be touched until October. Is that not the dumbest thing you've ever heard? Like she passed away in August. What? And I was like, well, is there a way to? Like, is there a penalty? And they were like, we actually don't even think you could. Like, and it's gonna build out an obscene amount of interest, so it's fine, but like, there's so many bills to pay and so many like moving parts and people involved. I couldn't believe it. I just like, I just have to laugh at this point because being an executor is so terrible and so stressful, but like, what else are you gonna do? Anyway, so I'm sitting on the floor now. I, it is, like I said, it's 11.22. Honestly, it feels like it could be bedtime. I would like to work out, but now I have probably an hour of executor paperwork to go through and prep because I have a meeting with my lawyer tomorrow who is like a godsend. I can't even sing his praises enough. He's so amazing. I feel like so supported and like safe and helped. If you ever need a good lawyer, I have one for you. Um, anyway, so I need to prep a bunch of paperwork for him to prepare for just some uh, terrible things. And then in an hour, I have my very first naturopath appointment, but super cool. I was able to book it um, over the phone. So I don't have to go anywhere. I'm really glad because it's not actually in town. It's about um, like 45 minutes away. So that would have been, it's just great. It's just great. So I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm hopeful. I'm excited to talk to her and meet her and see if she has any magical help for me. And then once that's done, it'll be about half an hour, pick up Thomas from school, come home, and then I might work out, depending on how he's feeling. I might not wanna leave him out of my sight and out of my reach. And if that's the case, I'm taking a course right now, a counseling course. And so I'll probably just like listen to that while I sit with him. <laughs> Do you understand now why at last video I was like, how can this be easy? Because it stays like this, where I would just be like spiraling, like just have to laugh. Anyway, I'm gonna do this paperwork and probably put on a comfort show of Drag Race to make me feel safe and happy and loved because I don't even know. I will, I'm gonna do a whole video on being an executor. I would love to wait until it's finished, but it's not gonna be finished for like years, girl, years. It was actually interesting. In one of the banks I went today, two today. Oh yeah, then I have another, like one of the, moving parts wants me to sign paperwork and I read the paperwork and like four items out of 10 are not true. So I was like, hey, I can't sign this. And then they sent an email back and said, yeah, our state department just advises that you sign it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it to my lawyer tomorrow and he's gonna be like, absolutely not. Like, as if I don't have two businesses and a child and like health and a husband. <laughs> So dumb. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Peace be with you. <laughs> it's 10 to 1. My appointment starts at 1. I've got the app open, ready. I'm gonna do it down here because um, they recommend you use an app versus your computer. Um, and then I don't have to worry about it being loud for the husband while he's sleeping. He can sleep through anything when he's on graveyards, but I just still try to be like mindful of that. So that's ready. I had a quick lunch of chickpea salad on a sandwich. So instead of like tuna or egg, I used chickpea. It was delicious. I made it a couple days ago. It was the first time I had used this the viral full star chopper. 
looks like this and then you smash it down and it comes with all these like accoutrement. It was really good. I like it. I like it better than a mandolin because the blades are completely covered. <laughs> There's no way to smash your fingers. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh-oh, one sec. What does this say? Hold on, I need to reply to this email about the estate. One second. Got my little setup. Got the iPad ready. Drink. Another drink. Notes. This is sitting on this beautiful cookbook stand that my sister got made for me a couple years ago. I mean, I usually just have it up as decor in the kitchen because I love it so much, but you're usually sitting beside it, so I don't know if you've ever seen it. Hey, like I said, I've never been to a naturopath before. At least I don't think so. So it'll be interesting to see like just what she has to say, if she has any tips, tricks, suggestions. This is just the initial appointment. But one thing I really liked was you had to fill out a ton of information before. So I'm thinking like it's, I don't feel as if I'll have to just start from scratch. Like she will have read the notes and, and kind of have an idea already, which I just love. It feels like it'll be like a more efficient use of my time. So that's what we got. I got a little ginger ale zero to sip on and some water. intrigued to see what she has to say. I also have my phone because I have a bunch of notes in my phone of how I've been feeling that I talked to my GP about but I figured I should have them ready for her too and like my blood pressure log etc. Here's to our health. Here's to prioritizing ourselves in between all the other things. If you can relate let me know how like it just feels like I just have little pockets every day and then it's like switching hats. I know it won't always be like this, but I just hold on to that at this point. <laughs> how can this be easy? That's what we do. How can this be easy? And that's how we help ourselves. I hope you liked that video that I posted yesterday. Or not yesterday, the last one I will have posted. I really miss the days of daily vlogging where I used to post six videos a week. I cannot imagine now. I actually don't know how I did it. Like that period of my life is a blur anyway, but it's pretty much, it's pretty amazing. And I still get comments on really old videos, like first becoming a widow, quitting my job at Sun FM, um, different, I have like videos about anniversaries of grief. I just love talking about grief. <laughs> that might sound really weird, but like when I have clients that come into the practice and wanna talk about grief with me, I'm just like, you are in a safe space. You come here to me. It feels so purposeful and so like full circle and meaningful. I love it. Like all the widows, you just come here to me. <laughs> That's how I feel. What kinds of things do you like to, what kinds of patients do you like? All of them, but grief for sure is up there for me because it's not talked about enough. And caregiver support, like I really want to appeal to caregivers to come and take care of themselves because obviously that's not something that's normally done. And I've tried to show myself doing just that, which is what I'm doing right now, paying for a initial consult with a naturopath, but Anyway, I'm just rambling. I did get some questions to talk about how this goes. So I'll let you know once it's over. Um, I'm paying for it and it's like private. So I don't think I'm gonna share like who it's with, but I will give you my overall initial thoughts. It's an hour appointment, which is like <laughs> so different from seeing a GP, which is like five minutes, get everything in as quick as possible. <laughs> it's nice, I can like, settle into this. Like I told you, today is just like, go, go, go. My days are just pockets of time, like little individual, it's like 
school blocks. It's just a few minutes before I'm going to go pick up Thomas from school, but I wanted to give you my initial thoughts on my naturopath appointment. First of all, she apologized for going over one hour. I was like, <laughs> what? Sorry. You're apologizing for giving me more time than I was allotted and more like mind blown. It was great. I didn't know that naturopaths are like licensed doctors can prescribe meds. I had no idea. She said it's basically like having a GP, except obviously it's private. So you pay for it and MSP doesn't recognize them, but some insurance does. Um, so that was really fascinating. I had no idea. But she was just like very thorough. I was very prepared. Like I always am if I'm paying money for an appointment, like I have my notes, I am ready. So I was able to really talk to her about a lot of stuff. And I just heard, felt like very heard and understood. And also like what I was saying was like valid and worth wanting to improve upon, you know, like she just had a great demeanor. Um, yeah, so very thorough. Luckily, I just got some blood work done with my GP. So I'm going to send that to her so she can look at it and then see if we need anything else done. But it was just great. Like she asked, especially now, like being a therapist, I have a different perspective. She asked like very well-rounded, full picture questions, like even asked me about my grief, my support system, my sleep, my digestion, like you name it. So it was a great first impression. Um, and then we'll just sort of see what she says when she sees that blood work and where we go from there. But yeah, it feels good. Like, you know, I was saying to her, like, I understand that I need to be as strong physically, mentally, all the things possibly for Thomas for life. Like he's going to be with us for a very long time. And so, um, like, I feel like I need to be like, utmost health for him and also for myself like for my own well-being and she was great you know she said like basically your cortisol levels and your nervous system have been tapped for like 13 years I was like yes thank you <laughs> thank you for seeing me so yeah I'm encouraged I feel really good about finally booking the appointment and seeing her it took me years I first met her I want to say 2017, 2018 at like a women's wellness event I was emceeing. She has no idea who I am, I don't think. Um, and then I just started following her on Instagram. And then now it's taking me until now to like actually book the appointment and ju jump in. So once I pick up Thomas, I'm going to see how he feels. I might hit the treadmill. Um, I don't know. I'd like to keep an eye on him. So I will probably forego that. I don't know. I'm pretty wiped after today and it's 2 40 <laughs> which is why I kind of like to do exercise this time of day it, I find it gives me an energy boost but we will see see how he's feeling the unicorn should be up from he should be up around six and then he goes to work at eight and then he gets home at 9 a.m for any of you who do shift work like god bless you because it is not for the faint of heart. I could not do it. I used to think getting up for morning radio was bad, but at least I could like, yeah, it's wild. Anyway, gonna go pick up the toodles. I don't know, go from there. It feels like a very disjointed vlog today, but that's what we get sometimes. <laughs> it's now Saturday. And before I catch you up, I'm gonna try and show you my outfit because I think it's so cute. I got these overalls from Free People when we were in Palm Springs and I just love them. Let me model for you in front of my garbage can. Great. It's now Saturday. Last I saw you, I was picking up Thomas from school. We came home. He had another seizure. I was like, that's a write off for the day. I'm not filming anymore. Then yesterday got up, got him ready for school. On the way to school, he had another seizure. So I just kept him home for the day. And it was just a write off of a day, honestly. Like he didn't have another seizure and he so far is fine today, it's 10 a.m. But like I just, he was either 
eagle-eyed watching him yesterday because he was definitely off or attempting to somehow get some work done, which was virtually impossible. So here we are, it's Saturday. He's doing better today. I have some respite booked today so that I can have lunch with some friends and then come home and I wasn't planning to, but I will definitely work, I'll probably work out and then work while he's gone. It's just at the moment, it's a very uneven, tricky balance of Thomas and his health, which is paramount, number one, and his seizures, being executor, and also trying to launch my counseling business and you know be a counselor and see clients and stuff. Plus, as you know, I've been trying to take care of my own health and you know marriage, etc. So there's just like a lot. I feel like I'm juggling. Anyway, that's an update. That's where we are today. Um, it's 10 o'clock. I'm about to have my cold coffee wherever it is and finish my breakfast from three hours ago. <laughs> Do a little bit of work before I drive him to respite. As you can hear, he's happy and healthy today. So that's what we like to hear. It's just been a day or two preceded by like eight months. 